When I visited my grandparents in Mantho, Manipur, a place in India, we would wake up every day to the beautiful scenery of fresh smelling mist above the clouds. We would remain energetic the entire day. There would be butterflies, dragonflies, fireflies, praying mantis. And a few kilometers away, you would be able to find wild hog, squirrels, chipmunks, all kinds of birds. It was amazing. It's beautiful, right? But if you went to your home in the city or your friend's home right now, what would you see? Advertisements, vehicles, shopping malls, street lights, traffic signals. And 99% of the time, somebody using their phone. It could be social media, Google Translate, or even navigating. It could just be anything. And if you think about it, there's an app for everything. Cooking, le ordering food, learning different subjects, learning how to dance, learning li different languages, booking tickets, traveling, just name it, and you'll get at least 20 apps for anything you, think you can think of. Mm. And all of these are channeled through the www, the World Wide Web, that went live to the world on 6th August, 1991. But did you know, before the WWW was born, before the computer was invented, before mankind, before even the dinosaurs existed, there already was a web. Now, if you're an organic gardener, a biodynamic farmer, or maybe even a plant scientist, you've probably heard about mycorrhizal. Mycorrhizal is a thread-like root, hyphae, that binds the soil particles forming a symbiotic relationship with the plant where the, the mycorrhizal supplies nutrition from the soil to the plant in exchange for sugars. This helps the plant survive, uh, survive diseases and also sends out messages if danger is approaching to hereby release their defense mechanisms. Mycorrhizal can grow very large where one association of mycorrhizal web of hyphae is reported to cover over the area of about two sports fields. But are we, at any cost, nurturing this amazing web that lies right beneath our feet? Or are we still busy urbanizing, modernizing, inventing more and more apps, taking down forests, while the last few remaining forests and plants are unable to help save us from global warming, hurricanes, floods, and other natural disasters. Modern agriculture has tried to come to terms with the quality of the soil through a chemical approach, leading to causing more and more natural and chemical disasters. In fact, the top soil is just a few two to eight inches of the Earth's layer. Now, every inch of the top soil a vital source of life needs healing and reviving. But how, how do we do it? Imagine every top chemical fertilizer manufacturer stopped betraying and poisoning the soil, but joined in supporting the natural living soil rhythm. We can turn this into reality by simply making compost because making compost is not beyond your capabilities, but is within your reach. This is something so simple, even a four-year-old can do it. This is something almost all of us have ignored for our entire life. It's a crucial but important thing that we can do right now, and it's the only way we can get healthy food, clean water, and fresh air for our generation, the next generation, and so on. So why don't you, your parents, your cousins, and whoever you love and care for, join me in healing the topsoil.